Salud, esperamos que se encuentre muy bien. El día de hoy vamos a estar hablando de Cory Taylor. Recientemente Cory Taylor ha cancelado todas las presentaciones de su banda solista por regiones como Estados Unidos y también, por ejemplo, en Asia. ¿Qué está sucediendo con Cory Taylor actualmente para estar cancelando todos sus shows? Por aquí te lo diremos. Recientemente, el aclamado artista de bandas tan importantes en el mundo del metal como Slipknot y Stone Sour tuvo que cancelar todas las presentaciones de su banda solista debido a complicaciones con su salud mental. En sus redes sociales comentó lo siguiente Con mucha pena tengo que anunciar la cancelación del tour por Norteamérica que vendrá próximamente. Desde los pasados meses, mi estado mental y físico ha venido decayendo y ha alcanzado un lugar que ha sido nada beneficioso y sano para mi familia y para mí. Yo sé que esta decisión será un shock para muchos, pero luego de revisar el lugar donde me encontraba y hasta donde estaba yendo, necesito retraerme un poco y estar en casa con mi familia por el tiempo que sea necesario envío todo mi amor a mis fans, a mi banda, a mi familia y amigos y a todos aquellos que me han ayudado a estar hasta este punto y de hecho sí, esta decisión logró el malestar en muchísimos de sus fans que querían verlo en esta próxima gira por Norteamérica por lo tanto Cory Taylor tuvo que hacer un video por sus redes sociales explicando la situación y se la dejamos a continuación. Cory Taylor here. Um, where do I even start? Um, I uh, I decided to make this video in response to a lot of the feedback that came out after I announced that I would be carrying on with my Southeast Asia run. Um, Originally, that was supposed to be mentioned in the statement that I rela uh, released uh, relating to my mental health lapse. Um, the truth of the matter is, is uh, I understand why so many of you are upset. And I'll, I'm just going to break it down for you. I, um, over the last year, have had a complete and utter breakdown of boundaries mental health, ego, entitlement, uh, the whole nine yards, uh, culminating in a very, very real, very near relapse that, uh, um, I kind of don't recognize myself. So, uh, again, I, uh, I wanted to ad address this and just tell people that I needed time to reset I needed time to start working on my heart and my mind and get straight. Um, the reason I'm keeping the Southeast Asia run, it's literally four shows. Um, it's literally a week. Um, I'm going to see how I do with that and just take it day by day, basically. Um, I'm working on self-care right now, getting the help that I need. Um, and uh, surrounding myself with my family. So to everyone um, concerned with me, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Gracias por continuar viendo este video donde estamos hablando de la vida de Corey Taylor, qué es lo que está sucediendo actualmente con él. Si te está gustando, por favor, darle like al video, haz comentarios. Si no te gusta también, por favor, haz comentarios, pero sobre todo, por favor, suscríbete al canal. Gracias. Ya pudiste ver de primera mano a Cory Taylor explicando su situación actual. Viendo la semblanza de Cory, esperamos que muy pronto recupere esa desfachatez, ese Cory divertido, atento con los fans. Your fans 
are fat, ugly kids too? Is that what you're trying to say to me, Mana? Huh? Is that what you want to say? You want to talk shit on the people that you care about, man? We will cover and we will kill you! Sin embargo, esta es una situación que no debería tomarnos por sorpresa, ya que Cory Taylor siempre ha sido muy abierto con respecto a sus luchas diarias en contra de la depresión y de la ansiedad que lleva en sí de hace muchísimos años atrás. A continuación podremos ver un poco de lo que nos comenta Cory Taylor acerca de su vida y su adolescencia. When I hit 17, um, you know, I, I kind of started wrecking myself and started lashing out at a lot of people. I think a lot of the the anger um, and sadness was starting to bubble up into other areas. So I was starting to react to a lot of things. You know, when you're when you're at that age, you know, everything's developing still, you know, so you really don't know, you don't have the coping mechanisms to deal with that. You know, I think it, I, I think the the more that people don't get to work things out, they don't know how to do it later on as well. Um, I was homeless for off and on for about two years and I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know how I was going to do anything with my life. I didn't have any money. I didn't have any notebooks. I, didn't, you know, I was basically I was carrying my clothes around with me in a in a, in a trash bag, and I, uh, living under the Southwest Ninth Bridge on uh, the south side of Des Moines, and uh, it was heavy duty. You know, like it was a really really dark time for me. I definitely got to the point where I was ready to end it all. You know, and I you know I had the razor in my hand. And I just, you know, I started cutting myself. But it was almost like a, it was it was a pressure valve kind of situation, like where it wasn't like I was going to end it. I just needed to feel something real to kind of snap me out of it. And I did, luckily, you know. I, uh, I ended up, you know, swallowing a bunch of pills. My grandma took me to the hot, or, you know, took me to the hospital. They, they fed me Ipecac. I threw up, you know, and uh, then they had to force feed me liquid charcoal to get my stomach to, to settle down. And uh, that was probably the lowest moment of my life because I had done it to myself. Y como una persona que lucha día a día en contra de la enfermedad, de la ansiedad y de la depresión, por supuesto que Cory Taylor tuvo una posición muy clara con respecto a lo que sucedió a Chester Bennington y a Chris Cornell y también sobre lo que la gente opinaba al respecto. Escuchemos lo que tiene que decir Cory Taylor. Calling them cowards is a very immature way of looking at it. Um, obviously they're hurt, which is why they're lashing out and saying that. Um, it's it's the easy way to look at something like that because it 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 makes you not have to face what a serious issue it is. It's it's easy for someone to label it like that so they can turn their back on it and pretend that it was something that didn't happen to them, you know? When inside they're hurting, you know? People who fight depression are almost in a constant state of hurting, you know? Sure. Like it, ya solo lo que nos queda decir es que esperamos que Cory Taylor se mejore muy pronto de esta situación tan difícil que está llevando en la actualidad para poder mejorar su vida profesional, su vida personal, su vida familiar incluso. De verdad que para nosotros, sus fans, de verdad que esperamos que esto sea algo que se mejore muy pronto para que él continúe dando toda la energía con que nos tiene acostumbrados. Gracias a ustedes por haber visto este video. Cuídense mucho. ¡Nos vemos!